family was good. 6 30 in the morning, West Coast time. We got something special for you guys today. Well, forget y'all, special for me and my pops and my best friend Darnell. But uh, we're about to go to this Porsche experience in LA. My dad has a Porsche, as you can see. So, yeah, we'll be on the way. We'll see y'all there. So we arrived. What you got a backpack for? This man got what you need a backpack for. But yeah, so uh we at the poor spot. Darnell just got to this spot. We got his J's on seeing. He meant to be cute today. This food thought we was about to go hoop. He brought us his, <laughs> his backpack. Hey, you look like you you losing that weight, son. Shannon, bro. No, I can see it. Shannon. For real. You look good. You look good! Right. You look good! Yeah. But yeah, man, we about to get it in. Mess about to be crazy. Now. <laughs> oh, this is nice, bro. Oh, it's crazy. That's crazy, dog. Which one you gonna get? You know, I'm gonna have to uh, dibble and dabble in something, you know, nice. I mean, the thing is, my legs are good, so. Uh, so in the GT3 with the uh, bucket racing seats that you're in right now, we only have four ways of adjustment. You have up, down, forward, and back. That's all you can do. You can't move the back part at all. So to move the seat up and down, it's gonna be right over here. Push on the bottom to go down, obviously, and up to go up. Okay. To move the seat forward, there's gonna be a little lever under your right knee right over here. Just grab that and you can slide the seat wherever you would like. Probably want it all the way back. That's it, yep. <laughs> <laughs> Um, to adjust the steering wheel, there's a little lever right down here that you can pull out and then you can manually move the steering wheel in, out, up, and down. Uh, I mean, where is the correct, where should I have it? So we usually tell people you don't have a nice little bend in your arms. We usually tell people to shoot for about a 90 degree well, bend. I don't know arms, so exactly, exactly. I was about to say, that's this what I was cool, saying. Mainly just focus on being comfortable. You got long arms, long legs. I'm not too worried about you being too close and whatnot. Because okay. you do, we definitely got that. We always tell people, you want a nice bend in your knees so when you press on the brake, your leg isn't straight. That definitely won't happen. And same with your arms. If you take one hand and put it on top of the steering wheel, we usually tell people, you want it to be about in the crease of your wrist okay. with your shoulder still in back of the seat. So just like that. So 
Um, on all Porsches, the key's gonna be on the left-hand side. Feel free to start the car if you would like. your hazards, your four-way flashers. So I'm going to be talking to you through a radio the entire time. It is a one-way radio, meaning you will be able to hear me, but I will never be able to hear you, so there's no point in trying to grab it and talk to me. If at any point in time you would need to get a hold of me or didn't hear something I said or you're not feeling good or anything, you need to talk to me, you put on those four-way flashers. And as soon as I see that, I'll pull us off to a nice safe area. I'll say, all right, Justin, I see you need to talk to me. And I'll come up to your car and we can discuss whatever it is that you want to talk about. Okay. Um, right over here by the little yellow sticky. Those are your traction control buttons, there's two buttons. Anytime you're on asphalt, those need to remain on, meaning no red light is illuminated on those. Anytime you start the car, it is always on. When we go over to some of the wet modules, I'm gonna encourage you to start turning those off so you can see what this car feels like when there's no computers helping you in any way. You'll see the car's gonna wanna flip and slide, you'll probably spin out a bunch of times. It's kind of fun. I'm gonna do a quick radio check. Radio check. Awesome. So, we're pretty much good to go. Another another cool thing I just noticed is you lucked out as well in this car with the carbon ceramic brakes. These are a ten thousand dollar option, and not all of our GT3s have them. So that one does. That one does. Mine does. That one does. And that other one does. So that's a cool little thing. Not all of our cars have it. You lucked out and you got it. So this is a pretty loaded car. Control down the straight on the side. Mm -hmm. Did you see us doing that? Oh yeah. Or the track that I just finished on. It's like the big track is just fun to do. The other one is a lot of fun because you can you don't have to worry about walls, so you can really like uh -huh. get around it. A little course, but it was fun, man. How you feeling now? A lot better. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> it, Next it time. It happens. It happens out here. Yeah, that's I. Often. It's nothing. It does. It honestly okay, happens. Good. It's a good. daily. It's a daily thing. Really? It's a daily 
Oh, so I'm the first. You're first, the first, first, first day, day of the day. <laughs> and, and first of the week, since, or since it's our first day of the week. Yeah. But I will tell you, you're not going to be the last. Guaranteed. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite part was just get, uh, getting out on the road and just hitting it. Just like the, the whole track. track and then the... Uh, it was a little joint where you just do a straight ahead. Mm. It's crazy. All right, y'all, back at the house. Uh, just got back from the Porsche experience. It was dope. Like, a lot of fun. I know for sure I'm no race car driver, but uh, I definitely want to do it again. No time soon, though. I'm still a little nauseous, um, as you probably saw earlier. One of the courses got me a little messed up, but my dad had a great time. Uh, Darnell had a great time, and it was dope to be able to drive a car fast in the place you're supposed to do it, you know, safely legally and uh like i said i'll go again so thank you to everybody up there at the porsche experience hunter good looking bro uh you got my driving skills you know got me up another level so y'all see me in these streets i might be going crazy but uh yeah man we had a good time if y'all ever in la y'all should try it there's one in la and one in atlanta so uh you should go and try them uh they have different cars with different prices we rode we drove the uh, gt3s and uh like i said man it was crazy the engine sounded nuts the the handle of a porsche is crazy like, it was everything I can hope and dream for. So we're going to be going back one day. Like I said, no time soon. I'm still a little sick. So I'll let y'all. Peace.